So let's talk about the course website. And the course website here is going to be your best repository for resources for the course. And there are a few very important links on the course website. So if you go to the course website page, on the left side, you've got the course menu options. The first important one is going to be your getting started syllabus section. So in the getting started syllabus section, obviously you have the syllabus. And the syllabus, the most up-to-date version of it, is going to be accessible on this link. The second thing you're going to see on this page is information relevant to the textbook. Now, last year we switched over to a new textbook. Originally we had Verge, now we have OpenStax. OpenStax is a freeware program, or is a freeware book. So you can download it anywhere for free. I provide a link to the book there on the course website. If you took chemistry over a year ago and you still have Verge, you're free to use Verge. I just don't support Verge anymore. I mean, I don't give you information on what chapters correspond to what information. That's something you're going to have to do on your own. Now, also, OpenStax has options other than the book we're using. So if you want to go through the OpenStax materials and see whatever, what other information they have, what other books they have, you're free to do so. That said, I only support the version of the OpenStax book that we're using in the class. Second link, the lessons link. Now, the lessons link is going to contain our PowerPoints and the in-class practice problems and the solutions to those in-class practice problems. So underneath the lessons links, you're going to find subfolders corresponding to test one, test two, test three, test four, and the final exam. Now, at this part of the semester, you only see the test one material. I don't let you access the new information until we actually take the test. But if you click on that test one folder, you're going to see the lecture notes for the whole time up until we take the first exam. I used to break my lecture notes into little bits for each day we were lecturing, and I found out it just wasn't that useful. So the composite of lecture notes is provided there on the course website for you. Now, what we cover on a day-to-day -day basis, if you email me, I'll let you know. But Everything we're going to cover related to that topic is going to be found underneath those PowerPoints. Now, I also like to give in-class packets, and these packets are basically additional ways for you to practice on your own. They're like homework, but they're not graded. Now, what I don't post early on in the semester is the solution key. I've had a lot of issues of students coming to class with the solution key and just kind of camping out with the key and not really thinking about how to solve the problems. I will release the solution keys, typically the lecture before the test, so you can check your answers. But these packets I will provide you with in class. Again, they are meant as supplemental practice for you, and we're going to be working on them throughout the semester. So it'll give you a flavor for what's going to be on the test. It'll also provide you with a resource for, you know, working on those types of problems. Now, the next link down is the lesson supplements. The lesson supplements is a very important link. This is where I provide you with outside of class resources. So like the lessons folder, there's going to be a folder corresponding to each test. This is where you're going to have access to flow diagrams, any type of handouts I give you in class to help you with material. And it's also going to provide you with access to my YouTube channel. Now, this YouTube channel contains videos that I put together. These are roughly five to 10 minute videos, each subject specific. And a lot of these are playlists as well. So there's a whole playlist concerning reaction kinetics, and it's meant to walk you through how to do reaction kinetics. It is a simplified version of the lectures, meaning that there isn't nearly as much depth there aren't as many as worked examples, but it is meant there that if you had to miss class for whatever reason, you can kind of do this on your own. Now, I recognize these videos aren't the best in the world, so underneath the course tools and course resources, I provide you with a link to another YouTube YouTuber who does a lot of open free chemistry videos. Please use YouTube as a resource. It's a very good place if you have to miss a lecture or you're not understanding a concept. Underneath this is going to be the lab resources folder. The lab resources folder is what you're going to use for lab. There are a few labs that are, we have a modified procedure that's found online. There's a writing tutorial. We'll go through all of this in the lab. But this is where you're going to find information relevant to the lab itself. Next, important link, quizzes and assignments. The quizzes and assignment link is going to contain anything that needs to be submitted online. So this is going to be your entry quiz. This is going to be your student survey, your lab reports, your oral reports. Everything's going to be submitted through here. Now, the course should also show you the due dates so you know when things need to be submitted. If there are anything, if there's anything that needs to be done in terms of lab resources, that you've got a few labs that you're going to, have to submit something online, you should be able to find the links underneath there as well. But any assignment that needs to be submitted online, you can get to it directly through quizzes and assignments. Web assignment link is provided for you. If you click on it, it should automatically log you in, logging you in with your credentials. Web assign is how you're going to be doing most of your homework assignments. So just meant there is a quick reference. Under course resources, there's additional information, summaries of the tenants policy, summaries of the grading policies, and additional links that you just may find useful. So that's the big highlight of the course website. And please take a minute, go through, check the different links, see what's underneath there.